Hey everyone, this is the video for the week 7 homework. There should just be one video for the problems out of the payroll textbook, but then there will there are another two additional videos for the 10 key homework for this week, which is the last 10 key assignment we will be doing. Some of you are going to be going, yay, others of you are going, to go, I like those, those are easy. So, I'm sorry, that was the last week for that. 6-4 is similar to what you're going to have to do on your payroll project, which starts next week. Um, there will be a video for that as well, just to walk you through the process. Unfortunately, there are no example problems that I can show you for the project. So, make sure you watch the videos, as they will help give you general directions. On 6-4, you're asked to record the payroll and the taxes for this company, which is exactly what you're going to have to do on your payroll project. However, the project is a lot more in-depth and you're going to be recording other things than just these two items. So what we're going to do, since we're showing journalize the payment of monthly wages, the payment is in January, so the date is going to be January 31st. So we're going to debit wages expense. If you remember from accounting one, when we're paying wages, we debit to wages expense. We're going to debit to the expense account. And then we're going to credit to the actual taxes that we want to pay. If you look at the problem, it tells you we have food, FICA, FUDA, SUDA. So let's start with FICA. So we're going to have FICA taxes payable, then you have your OASDI, each the SDI and HI are going to be listed separately. So we have FICA taxes, OASDI, FICA taxes, HI, we have federal income tax. Sorry about that, my internet's going a little wonky today. So we're going to have, oh, I am sorry about that. So we're going to have employees, FIT payable, and then we're going to have cash. So let me put these over on the edge. So total wages expense is going to be the 7780 because that's what we're told. We are told that the federal income tax is $998, so we don't know that's $998. So now we're going to have calculations for HI and OISDI. So we're going to break out the calculator, 778 times 6.2% gives us $482.36. In this case, since we're not given individual amounts for each employees, we're going to assume that the OASDI and the HI is the same for both entries that we have to make. So let's make the HI entry. So that's $112.81. Now to figure out how much tax we actually paid out to our employees, we're going to take the 7780 minus 482.36, minus 112.81, minus the 9.98. So we're going to say that the cash we paid to employees was $6,186.83. So that's the first entry that we're going to have to make. Now we have to show that we're paying the taxes. We're reporting the payroll taxes. January 31st. We're going to have payroll taxes. We'll go ahead and put a couple of the lines centered, I'm sorry, left adjusted to make it easier. Then we're going to have FICA and HI again. We're also going to have FUDA. So FUDA taxes payable. And FUDA taxes payable because these are what the employer pays. We don't know the payroll taxes amount yet, but we do know 
the OASDI and HI, so we can just copy those down. Then we have FUDA, but the state contribution, we are, we're told, is 4.3%. Sorry, I keep clicking wrong buttons today. So we're going to take our 7,780 times 4.3 percent gives us $334.54. Your SUDA payable should always should almost always be more than your FUDA payable. So you're always going to pay more in state than federal. So 334.54. And so now we have to calculate FUDA before we can calculate how much the payroll taxes actually was. If we go to our book on page 617, it tells us that the food tax may be able to claim 6%, but it's normally going to be at 0.6%. So let's do the math for that. We have 77... Oops. We have 7,780 times 0.6% gives us $46.68. So now we can figure out the payroll taxes. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add all of the amounts together for the payroll taxes. So we have 482 36 112.81.46.68 is 334.54. So the payroll taxes for this company for January is $976.39. Okay, and that's how you complete 6-4B. 6-12, like I mentioned, is one where students get confused because we're not calculating standard overtime, we're using the overtime premium rate, which is completely different than what we're used to. It's not, it is one and a half times, but the way it's calculated, it actually comes out to be a different overtime pay and regular pay. So let me show you how this works. For regular pay, we'll take 40 hours since he worked 44 hours. So actually, I'm sorry, we're going to take 44 hours times his regular standard of pay of 1970, which gives us 866.80. And then we're going to take half of his, half of his pay rate. So we're going to take 1970 divided by 2, gives us $9.85. And then we're going to multiply that by the amount of overtime hours he worked, which was four, which is $39.40. So to, oops, put it on our own line. So to calculate how much his gross pay would be, we would just add those two amounts together. So let's go over that one again. So we take the 1970, which is his hourly rate, Multiply that by all of the hours worked for, during that work week, which gives us $866.80. So now we're going to take his four hours that he worked overtime, multiply that by the 19.7 divided by 2, which gives us $39.40. So to calculate how much his gross pay should be, it would be $866.80 plus 39.40, which gives us he should get overtime of, oh, that doesn't look right, 866.80 plus 39.40, 906.20. So we're going to enter in that amount as the debit and credit amounts. And then the book shows it as salaries expense and salaries payable, but you could also use wages expense and wages payable. I'm more concerned about can you get, can you actually get the amounts correct? So we're going to debit wages payable and credit, I'm sorry, we're going to debit wages expense and credit wages payable. 
And that is what you do for this problem. Now, this is the last one for this week. People make this a lot harder than it actually is. So we're going to have the date. So make sure you do the date. The description. On page 623 in your book, it gives you a perfect example of the entries for this one. You're going to have vacation benefits expense as the debit, vacation benefits payable as the credit. So we are given a lot of information up in the top, not all of it we actually need. So we're told that there's a balance of 49,900. We actually don't need that information. What we need is the $3,110 and the $2,490. So to get the amount that we're going to journalize, we're going to take the 3110 minus the 2490 gives us $620. That is the amount that we're going to enter. Because we're just looking for the amount that we need to adjust it to make sure that it equals what it sh to make sure that it equals the three thousand one hundred and ten dollars, and that's all you have to do for this problem. If you have any questions on this week's homework, let me know and have a great day.